Hey guys, so I did just finish setting up my new social media planner, which is the Happy Planner Dashboard Layout. And I'll go ahead and link that video up here in the cards or down in the description in case you want to watch that video first and then come back to this one. In this one, I'm going to be setting up the monthly view and the first week, which is the week that we're currently on. And that video just goes more in depth as to why I am switching from an Erin Condren academic planner to this um, Happy Planner dashboard layout. So let's see. Basically, what I was wanting to do is I just needed to do something different. I was needing a change. I was wanting a change. So that's kind of where all of this comes into play. So do make sure you check out that video. More in-depth explanation and then the setup of this planner. So I am just grabbing a shipping label to cover up November 2021 because I am redating it so I can use it now instead of waiting till July when this officially starts. I just couldn't wait. I just needed to start this now. So now we have the month and the year covered, so we're good. And now we do need to get rid of all these holidays because obviously they're not gonna match up. So I'm just gonna run my um, white out through them and then that way we no longer have these ones. Okay, there we go. And then up here, I'm not too good with doing this. And I really don't like redating either. It is a lot of work and I don't know. I don't do it as often. So I think that's why I'm not good at it. And I prefer to wait um, till the planner starts. But I don't know. I just couldn't wait. I really needed this change. So that's the only reason why I'm redating. And then this last one for Thanksgiving. All right. So there we go. Now it's completely blank. We don't have the holidays that month and year and then just a little bit of color right over here and so since this one is going to be my social media planner i do want to go ahead and mark the videos that are going to be going out for the month so for that i thought that i would use um the little wreaths that are in this farmhouse sticker book and that's actually what i'm going to be using for my first weekly spread as well so I think I'm going to alternate between these pink or peach colored ones and green. I think I do want to go out, um, go with this color theme. So I think all I'm going to do is just kind of place them in the middle. I just have always needed that visual in order to let me know I'm such a visual person. So I do like having an overview of all of the videos that I'm doing for the month. So these ones will indicate the videos that are set in stone. So on Wednesdays, I do my Happy Planner Skinny Mini. So I do need to indicate those. And then I've been debating about whether um, to do my Erin Condren Daily Duo on Thursday or on Friday. But I think I'm leaning more towards Fridays. So I'm actually going to put it right there. And then any other extra videos that I do for the month aside from the plan with me's are going to be written down directly on the page with a mile liner for the bullet point. And that way that'll show me how many extra videos I did for that month. So I did want to alternate. So I'm going to use this one from this other sticker book and then go back to that style. Okay, and then since we're already on this page, I am going to add these other ones over here on Saturday. And for Saturday, it's going to be this one, my dashboard layout for my social media planner. So let's see, then this one, 
and then this last one i just feel like if i don't use these here i probably won't use them so they're the, just the perfect size and that'll be awesome to indicate the videos so that way that gives me the beginning of the week to film these videos so i love that and i am downsizing the amount of videos that i put out for the week as well i was doing five videos a week but i have narrowed it down to just three i was starting to feel overwhelmed and i really needed a change so i have decided to go down to three videos a week and i hope that helps because I don't want to have to give up YouTube just because I am feeling overwhelmed. So instead of just um, quitting completely, I'm going to downsize and hopefully that helps. So I'm hoping that does help. So let's see. Um, I'm not sure exactly what else I would like to do. Um, let's see. Maybe I could add a little some sort of decoration on the left-hand side. Maybe like this one. There is beauty in simplicity. I love this because it ha kind of has that pink and green color in here. So maybe I could even cover up this right there. Um, I'm not sure. Would that be good? But I do want to layer it. Maybe something like that. Or like a little header maybe. Um, even this circle. Remember there is beauty in simplicity. I actually kind of like that. So let's see. Let's put it right over here. And I'm going to use this line right here to kind of help me get it straight. I'm always looking for something that will help me. So maybe like right there and then this one could go maybe like right here. I'm thinking that's a great spot for it. Okay, so is there maybe a quote that could go like down here at the bottom? I don't think so. There is this washi strip, and it kind of matches that one, actually. Hmm. But I don't think so. Ooh, maybe like some of these leaves or something. I think these could kind of be cute. So let's see about this one. Maybe like right over here. Or where could I put this one? Hmm. I think I'm leaning more towards this one now. Maybe like this one here. I love the way that it's kind of angled to the side. So maybe something like that. Okay, so I think that looks cute. And now I feel like I need to put it somewhere over here. Let's see. These ones, well actually this one's not um foil so this could work i feel like i could add a little leaf on the right hand side and then i can pair it with this quote so maybe like this one it's nice and small not too big so there we go and maybe like this quote down here i think that's gonna look really pretty okay perfect so i don't like doing too too much here in the monthly view i just needed to let me know the videos i'm doing any extra videos so i think this is great um i don't think there was anything else that i wanted to add and i'm not sure about adding 
the month and the year. I don't usually do it, so I don't have too many um, months and numbers. But I can always look somewhere. I'm pretty sure I do have it. So let's see. Let me just go ahead and check. I think maybe here in this journaling sticker book. I think this one did have some. Okay, right here. Okay, so here's June. So I think this could work. Just nice and simple, nothing too fancy. So maybe that. And let's go back to these ones. Did we have a 2020? Because these ones have foil. These are letters. And these are the days of the week. So yeah, I think this is the only option because other than this, I really don't have any of the dates and holidays um, sticker books because I don't really redate. It's a lot of work and I don't know. I don't tend to do it often, so I don't have a need for those sticker books, but I may just have to buy them just in case. So maybe like that. So not too bad it does the job so let's see I'm thinking maybe now I am wanting like maybe like a leaf up here I don't know let's go ahead and check and see how that works okay so how would maybe this one is bigger how would it look maybe going off the page like this um i don't think it's gonna fit the way i want it to or is it no it's too short so let's see let's put this one back Hmm, actually, let me go ahead and check the other sticker book. So I do have two of these. Let's check here. Okay, so we do have another one of these ones. So maybe something like that. That way it wasn't too bare over there. And even these ones I think would have been good. Did I kind of want to place this one here too? Maybe like this? Huh. Let's see. Okay, so that's not terrible. I think it'll do. Um, and I'll just go ahead and cut that off in a little bit. But I think that's basically it for the monthly view don't do too much here so i think this is actually pretty perfect so now let's go ahead and go into the first week so if i flip this it'll give us this one and then i do need to take out the other side so it's this one so this would need to get covered up as well. November 2021. So actually, I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and start. And I did go ahead and cut these shipping label as well. There we go. And like I said, I don't, I don't think I have another um, month or year. So I probably just add decoration maybe over here if not that doesn't look too bad um but yeah like i mentioned in my setup video this is going to be my new social media planner so i needed a change and i'm no longer going to be using my mini happy planner um dashboard layout um that mini is 
was no longer getting used because that was my catch-all and I wasn't using it as a catch-all anymore ever since I started using the Erin Condren Daily Duo. So I was just um, decorating it and not even using it. And I really, really wanted to keep using this layout. So I did remember that Heather from Kell of a Plan um, was using this layout as her social media planner. So I was needing a change for my social media planner and I was needing um, a way to keep using this dashboard layout. So I put two and two together and that's when I came up to switch over to this layout. And even though I'm decorating it as my social media planner, um, you can still use the way I'm decorating this layout as if it was your catch-all. The only difference is when it's after the pin. Obviously, yours would look different than mine because now I'm going to track my YouTube videos, my Instagram post, and not what I need to do for the day as my catch-all. So I did go ahead and um, white out the errands and then the checklist. I am so excited that this is no longer shaded in. I never liked that that's why I always used to use my shipping label to cover up this shaded area but now all I have to do is cover the header and the checklist so I am super excited about that and I think I'm still going to be using this as a place to add a quote like something decorative here even though it's not shaded it doesn't have lines and I really need my lines and that's why I love the dashboard layout because it does have those lines. So if I ever need to use this, I know it's there, but I think I am still going to be using to decorate it this way just like I've been doing. So I love this and yeah, so the only difference is that it's no longer shaded and I won't have to use a shipping label because I can just use um, the correction tape. So that's such a relief. I am super excited about it. So let's see. Okay, so just like that. And obviously this will no longer be calls and emails, bills to pay or to buy. And then we just have this little bit of color over here, but that's super easy to cover up. So I was thinking of using this wreath maybe over here. And I am going to go ahead and cover up that bills to pay and calls and emails. Okay, so there we go. And I think I just needed a little bit right over here. It was kind of peeking through. So there we go. And then this one, because again, this one doesn't have lines and I really, really need lines. So this sticker has lines on them and that is what I love. And then I was also thinking that I can use double boxed stickers in here. I think it's the perfect size for them as well. So maybe like this because I kind of wanted to use it like right in the middle of these two. I'm trying to get it straight. So I think right about there. Okay, and then let's see. Let's, yeah, let's use this to do so we can layer it because we're going for that pink and green theme. Okay, so there's that. And then let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to move to the right-hand side. And I also love that this right here doesn't have the little strip that it used to have. Let me see if I can get an example in the mini. Um, yeah, so right over here. So see, this was shaded. And then this right here. And also the bullet points were shaded in. So I'm super excited that they're no longer shaded. We don't have this strip here. Um, and this one is blank, but it used to say um, what's for dinner. 
So I love that. It's super neutral. I love this so much. So, okay. Now I was thinking of using these little leaves. Obviously going down the page, just like I used to plan as if this was my catch-all. So nothing really is going to change aside from what I now write in it. So no more um, picking up the groceries or paying a bill or nothing like that. I'm going to use this section right over here to indicate my Instagram posts and any other type of notes or things going on for that day. And I used to do two posts a day, seven days a week. And again, I am going to cut back on that. I just feel like I'm always doing something. It was starting to feel like a lot of work and it was getting to me. And again, instead of just kind of giving up, I'm going to take a step back and do less so i think i did cut it down to where i'm only going to be doing one post a day and that's still doable i can do that i just don't want to feel like i'm always taking pictures always editing always filming um it is summer and i do want to spend time with my kids and so instead of just kind of giving up i'm going to do less but it's still going to be valuable. So I hope that's okay. And you still find value in what I post on Instagram and what I post here on YouTube. So just like this, and this is usually what I would do um, in my mini catch-all. So now the only difference is what I'm going to be writing in it. So not too much going on there. And let's see. So that's basically what I really wanted to do here because right over here, I'm going to indicate the videos that I do for the week. Um, just like in my monthly, I know Wednesday is going to be my Happy Planner Skinny Mini. Friday is going to be my Erin Condren Daily Duo, which is now my catch-all. And then Saturday is going to stay the same with a dashboard layout, but it's no longer mini. It is now a classic. And instead of using it as a catch-all, I'm using it for social media. So that's what I'm going to do. And if I happen to do an extra video for the week, so say for this first week, um, yeah, I'm going to have that extra video because I think this video is going to go out on Monday. I am filming this on Sunday, so I'm pretty sure it's going to go out on Monday. So I would indicate here that I'm doing an extra video with a mild liner as my bullet point and then just writing directly on here. And then that translates over here to Monday as my social media setup video. So then this will give me an overview for the videos going out for the week. And then right over here, I'm going to put um, the videos, the three videos that I'm doing for the week. And I want to write those out. And I want to keep track because I am such a visual person. And so I'll go ahead and write to film Happy Planner Skinny Mini, Erin Condren Daily Duo, and Dashboard Layout. And as I film those, I am going to be checking them off. So I love this. And then maybe right here, I think I'm going to have maybe like another little checklist where again, I write those videos, but this one is going to indicate that it's been uploaded and edited and all of that stuff onto YouTube because sometimes I do um, batch film my videos. So I may film them the same day, but I won't need to upload them till later. So I want to make sure I know that these ones have been filmed. And then I do want to indicate that they've been edited and uploaded and all of that. So I do want to be able to check this off because these two won't happen at the same time. And then down here, I would use it for extra notes. I think that's gonna be the place for this one. I may just write maybe like, I received my Erin Condren um, haul or my Happy Planner haul or anything like that. Anything important will either go here 
or here on Tuesday if I do have enough space. And so I am super excited about this layout. I think it's going to work out so great for me. I am super excited. That's why I could not wait till July to get this started. I just needed to dive right in. I needed a change. So I'm going to go ahead and add this because I don't need that one to say to buy. So I think that looks good. It's nice and simple, a few little decorations. And now this is basically what I wanted to do, but I do wanna go ahead and go back in and see if there's anything else that I wanted to add. Um, so maybe like some of these, I feel like this one could maybe go like this. So I feel like I want to lift this today's focus a little bit and kind of tuck this right behind it. That way this is not showing up um, all bare and everything. So let's see. Maybe something like this. Okay. There we go. So let's tuck it right back in. Perfect. Yeah, so that looks much better. And then maybe we could do it over here. That way it covers up this one as well. How would that look? Something like this maybe? Would that look cute? I think so, right? Okay, so I think that looks good. Did we have anything else? Hmm, because I feel like maybe I could add something here at the bottom. But what could I add? So we do have some gray ones, but I don't want to use the gray. I'm going to stick with the green and the pink. So yeah, this one didn't have anything but those two left over. Let's take a look in here. Okay, so we do have these ones. And that one. I just really wish there was like maybe something like this, but with a quote on there. Oh, actually, let's look back in this one. And I think maybe this one was it. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and use it here in the weekly spread as well. Let's use the other one, though. Okay, so one of these. And did I want to use this one? I think so. This one is more spread out and open. And this one is more closed in so i love that so maybe right there and then we'll go back to this quote and i really don't mind that it's in both the monthly and the weekly as long as it looks cute i really don't mind so maybe like that okay I really love that because I just felt like something was missing over here. And I think that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and trim off this little bit right over here. Okay. And then this up here. And we did have these ones. Don't think I'm able to use them somewhere else. I usually find another spot for them. But these may be too little. Yeah. Um, maybe like over here. Okay. Well, that works. What about over here? Hmm. No. I don't want to waste it, so I do want to find a little spot for it. Okay, 
And then what else was sticking out? This little bit right up here. Like how gorgeous is that divider? It's so pretty. And okay, that's doing too much. So I'm gonna leave that. And was that everything else? I think so. So, oh my goodness, I love this. So actually, let's go ahead and get rid of everything here. And now let's go ahead and put these pages back into here. I am so excited to get this started. You don't even know. I was really needing that change. And I'm obsessed and I can't wait to dive into this planner already. That is why I am kind of doing this video. This wasn't even supposed to be filmed until July, but I just had to use this already. So here we go. I am loving the weekly spread. Like how pretty does that look? It's going to be different going from a mini to a classic. There's just so much space on here, but... I am looking forward to it. I am loving this. I love the way that monthly and the first week match. I think that looks really, really pretty. And I just cannot wait to get started. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me over on Instagram at Stephanie Happily Plants. And I'll see you next time.